upon him taught us that once upon a time that Jesus, peace be upon him, gave some money to one of his companions and he told him to go into town and get some food for everybody. And uh, the man took the money, he went into a town close by, bought the food. There wasn't very much money and all he was able to buy was three loaves of bread. And he was very, very hungry. And he realized that there was just these three loaves of bread. So he decided to eat one loaf of the bread himself. And then when he got back, he just handed the bread over to Jesus, who asked him, who ate the third loaf of bread? And immediately the man said, but there are only two loaves of bread. And Jesus, peace and blessing be upon him, didn't say anything else. But they continued on the journey with their companions. And they come by the goat. And Isa alayhi salatu salam buys the goat. And then he makes dua to Allah. And what Allah does is that all of a sudden that same goat, it, becomes, it sacrifices all by itself. Then it's skinned all by itself. And then it's cut into pieces all by itself. And then it begins to roast all by itself. And this man standing there goes, SubhanAllah. So, MashaAllah, you are a true Nabi of Allah. So then Jesus looked at the man who had gone after the bread and he said, I'm asking you by the one who ate the third loaf of bread. And immediately the man said, There were only two loaves of bread. Again, Jesus, peace be upon him, didn't say anything. And they continued on their journey. Now, while they were walking, they came across a river that had been flooded up. Jesus, peace be upon him, asked them to hold his hand. So Isa alayhi hits the bank of the river with his staff. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes the river part. And this man is shocked. And he says, SubhanAllah, MashaAllah, you are a true prophet. And Isa alayhi asked him, By the one who made it for us to be able to cross this river by walking on top of it who ate the third loaf of bread and immediately he said listen there were only two loaves of bread so Jesus he didn't say anything again and they went on then they came to a desert and that's when Jesus peace be upon him took three big piles of sand then he asked the law change this into gold and this man was watching this. And suddenly, the piles of sand became piles of gold. And he said, one pile is for me. And he looked at the man, he said, one pile is for you. And the third pile is going to be for the one who ate the third loaf of bread. The man quickly said, I'm the one who ate the third loaf of bread. And Jesus told him, then all three piles of gold are for you, but do not accompany us anymore. But the man didn't care. He was so happy he sat down in front of his new fortune. And he's sitting there. He's elated. He's got the dunya. He's got the dunya, what he wanted in maqsad in life. And he started dreaming of what he was going to do, that he was smiling all alone, looking at his wealth. Suddenly three thieves came upon him and they saw Here's a man sitting alone with this huge treasure of gold. First thing they did, they killed him. Then they divided the gold. Each one of them took one of the big piles of gold. And then they sent one of them to go in and get some food so they could eat and then plan out their future. So one of the thieves, he went to town to buy food. No, he didn't take one of the loaves of bread like the other guy. Instead, he decided to poison the food so when he goes back the people will eat the poison they'll die and he'll get all three shares of gold for himself and this is what he did but his friends who he'd left behind were also plotting against him and they decided that when this man comes back we'll jump him from the two sides kill him and then we'll divide up his share of the gold amongst ourselves so they killed him when he came back and then they sat down to enjoy their meal and they ate the poison food and a few
few minutes later, they both died. And they all were laying there. When Jesus, peace be upon him, came back with his companions, they passed by the very same spot. And there they saw their former companion laying on the ground. And the other three thieves laying there too. All of them dead. And all three piles of gold laying there. And he pointed to this and he said, This is the life of this world. In the Arabic called al hayat dunya This is the life of this world. And this is what it will do for those who seek after it.